Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to take you guys on an adventure with me. I actually went to TTC over an entire weekend, and this was one day of shots from my iPhone uh, of what we did. We went ahead and touched up the bottom of stage one and put a road gap in the middle. But in that process, I crashed, Dave crashed, uh, I also got my truck stuck, and we went ahead and touched up uh, a little bit of other stages and put tape up so you guys can go pre-ride some of the stages. Let's talk about the bike that I'm gonna be bringing to TTC. Let's start off at the front of the bike. I have a Cane Creek Helm at 160 Travel, loving it. The way you can re-equalize the lowers on the fly is just amazing, I do it every time I go. It's almost like a little like refresher tune-up for your fork every time you do that. Um, I have these Stealth Hubs on here, 27.5, the TRP Brakes, G-Spec, loving them. I love the way I feel. I think everybody should like kind of dial in what lever you want because the feeling of your lever is probably one of the most important things to make you feel comfortable, at least for me. 41 millimeter wide, box wheel set with stealth hubs on there, super quiet. It's amazing. I'm really gonna hope that I, I upgrade this, uh, one of these bikes back here is my old Nomad, and it's got some really loud hubs on it. I hope to like upgrade those and get some other wheels that are a little more quiet on there. And then I'm gonna go into the PW cockpit. I use them for my bars, my lever, and my stem, and my dropper post. Then we're looking at, of course, I'm running box, Prime 9, works great. The warranty's great. And all these companies also have great warranties. If something happens, you say, hey, I broke it, and they go, hey, I replace it. That works out really well. This is a 2019 Bronson, size large. I've got the Cane Creek inline progressive coil in the rear. Love it, perfect for my style of riding. And then going into the back, I still have that stealth hub that is unlimited engagement that everybody loves to talk about. I guess I missed like the PW grips, I use those, and that's pretty much my uh, complete bike. I also run Cush Core in the rear wheel because I like to smash things and well, Cush Core is important for you that like to smash things. So let's get after it. I don't like anything. Boom. So uh, putting features in. TTT is getting some upgrades for the Enduro. Uh, definitely devoting some good time to turn TTC into something a little more than off-roading. It's going to be off-roading for mountain bikes and MX vehicles. And then this was happening. What do you guys think? Kind of just, kind of just happened to me. Oh, oh. We skipped over some of the filming of stuff, but I was super stressed. I just got my truck stuck. When you go to TTC, you'll understand what I mean by like, I probably shouldn't have took my truck up there, but I was really thankful for these guys at the Rock Quarry thank came you, and pulled me you, out. Thank you, thank you, The Rock guys, thank you. Thank you very much, guys. So yeah, I definitely had to get pulled out by a monster truck at the Rock Quarry at TTC. But this is the things I'm doing for you guys to make sure you have a great event. We're putting in some wood features. Hope you guys make it out. So happy that the rock core guys are here. I mean, Seth had a story about a guy named Pig came, got him out of somewhere. This is kind of, kind of what went down. Oh, oh, buddy. Seth is why I need those skid plates. I'm just sliding on it now. I'm gonna get to these spots so I can start. We're in four wheel and that's the engine noise that's getting made. So here is the road gap we uh, built. It's actually a um, pretty good sized road gap. I would say it's like 20 foot by seven foot, give or take, but we go ahead and pull out the measurements and it was right there at 20, 21 feet and then seven foot high drop. What's going to happen? Boys, I'm about to fucking stand it. Oh! <laughs> if you're willing to go trail speed, we want to build features that are 20 foot gaps, seven foot drops, but are utilized at trail speed because that's what everybody wants. Somebody wants to have to like really kill it at a feature or have to slow down for one. Keep us at trail speed and keep us moving. And that's what we're trying to do for you guys in these races and these features that we're building. So one of the things we're gonna highlight here is that there's many different lines you can hit on these features. It's not all about just like hitting the biggest feature. We wanna make sure everybody's having a good time. Everybody's able to hit the features.
Okay, that was neat. I didn't die. Success. I mean, we're trying our best to get this thing cleaned up. So this used to be the original landing is right here. And then this is the lip is right here. So we just went ahead and installed one of these buggers. These guys are doing some amazing rock work, stacking fresh dirt. Big shout out to all these guys. You're gonna swoop in here and hit this speed line and be out sprinting out the other side. There's a chicken line. We gotta figure out how we're gonna mess this chicken line up to make it a little harder to do, but we're gonna see what we can get figured out. We want to give you the opportunity in the safest environment possible so yeah, that dude. we you know you're in, you. you're in good hands Relax. and you gotta have a good time and you don't have to send it super go. big you know let the guys that are like really after it let them send it big you have sent it and still have a great time hopefully we're really bringing back ttc on the map Playing no games today. <laughs> so super excited to be at a venue like this that we're going to be able to bring custom stages every time. We're going to be able to do new features every time, and really excited because we've only got a 200 rider limit right now, and that it's already filling up. I think as of right now, I think it's the first of February. So while I was at the hospital, they pretty much gave me some x-rays and they were like, hey, there's something broken, might be some pulled tendons. So I was talking with Seth about it and I think what happened was I dislocated my shoulder. It came out and then went back in because it was like solid at first I was using it and then I couldn't use it. And now I'm like two weeks out from that and I feel like I have pretty good range of motion. It just hurts a little bit, the back top here. I feel like I slid, smashed a rock, popped my shoulder out and I got back up, it popped back in. It was just super sore, but now I've messed up both my soul, my shoulders. So sleeping on like on my sides isn't as fun anymore. But I'm sure I'll be back in like two weeks because that's what I do. I bounce back. TTC is an amazing venue to be a part of. It's somewhere you should go check out and visit. They're on an honor system. It's actually you show up and you put your money in the box and sign your waiver. So the new job. So I'm a race promoter for Go Nuts, and like working with Dave's been amazing. We've been really good friends for about like three years now. And we just really connected and we really waited for an opportunity to where we actually could work full time together. Pedal a little harder, don't touch the brakes, don't forget to subscribe.